Joining us by Zoom is Silicon Valley entrepreneur and medical philanthropist Steve Kirsch. Steve, tell us about this new clinical trial at Stanford University. So it's testing a drug called interferon lambda. And the idea is that as soon as you know that you're positive for COVID, you get you go to Stanford, you enroll in a trial, you get an injection, and that's it. It's a one-time injection. And if it works the way we think it, it works, you'll have zero chance of uh, ever having to go to the hospital or having any ill effects. It's one and done. One and done, that sounds pretty good. What is the COVID-19 early treatment fund? So that's a, uh, a fund that I uh, established. It's a 501c3 charity. Uh, it's administered by the Rockefeller Philanthropy Associates. And the idea is to have a fund so that when researchers want to do these outpatient clinical trials that are key to reopening uh, our world, that they can just apply. And three days later, they can get a grant and get it funded so that they're not wasting any time like they would if they had to apply for the government, which would take months. So it's a, it's a fast way to fund the, the trials that are the most urgent priority for reopening the world. And can you tell us about some of the results? Um, it's too early uh, yet. We need to, it's critical that people know about these trials like the one at Stanford and enroll in them. And there's a website, uh, uh, treatearly.org that people can go to to learn about the Stanford trial and enroll. And the, the faster that people enroll in these trials, the faster we'll get results. And just talk about that more for me, just how important are these outpatient clinical trials? They're, they're critical because a vaccine may take years to develop. It may take, it, they may never get a vaccine. Coronaviruses have been around for 55 years and we don't have a proven vaccine against any of them. And so the best that we can do, the fastest way is to take a drug that's off the shelf and try it on people. It's a safe, these are all safe drugs. They're all approved drugs. And we're trying it on people and seeing if they make a difference when they're given very early in the disease, right after someone gets the disease, which is the best time to treat it. It's like if there was a fire in your house, you would want to call the fire department immediately. You wouldn't wait until the whole house is ablaze and then call the fire department, which is what we're doing now with the treatments that we're giving people. So if someone just found out they're infected, what should they do? They should uh, go to that website, treat, uh, treatearly.org, and uh, click the button that says enroll in a trial and find the trial that's nearest them. And some of these trials are actually uh, nationwide, so it doesn't matter where you are. But if you're in Palo Alto, uh, you'd want to go and enroll in the Stanford trial. That is your best chance of having no ill effects at all. And what drugs are being tested locally? Uh, just interferon lambda is the only one that's being opened right now, but there are a couple of more. A couple more. There's a Camistat trial and a favipiravir uh, trial that will be opening up at Stanford and other places. Uh, uh, there's uh, there, and there are trials in other uh, in other cities, like in New York City. They're just opening up a lambda trial now. And you talked about all the benefits, the whole one and done thing. Why isn't the state and federal government supporting these trials? You know, I, I wish I knew the answer to that. I've talked to state officials and they said, hey, good luck um, with this and, you know, let us know how it's going. And I've talked to, I've tried to reach out um, uh, to senators and congressmen that I know, but I, I never hear back from them and they've done nothing. And so I don't know the answer to that. Um, generally, governments take months and months to react to something like this. Uh, but it's been well known for uh, uh, every infectious disease uh, uh, professional would tell you that you always treat a virus early. The earlier you treat it, the better the results. So if you treat Ebola early, you have a 90% success rate. If you treat it late, um, you 90% of the people will die. And so early treatment is absolutely key to any virus. And so these, tr these trials sh should be funded. I mean, we're spending trillions of dollars on the downstream effects, but we're not spending the $10 million required for these trials to prevent us from ever getting sick and ever being hospitalized. All right, entrepreneur and medical philanthropist, Steve Kirsch, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.